Um, I think a lot of people have been feeling some densities. Big awakening happening right now at the collective. Um, lots of density leaving the planet. Like I've, I've, I've never seen so much density leave at the planet. And conversations with people like I've been having in the last several weeks. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty crazy couple of weeks for sure. Some uh, some important dates coming up are end of June, something big's going to happen. Uh, end of July, something big's going to happen, um, possibly early August and um, April 2023. Massive things going to happen, but don't discount August or late July, August. But something the end of June. Um, I don't know if it's that whole Atlantis rising thing and. Um, but as I know it's big, I know that much. I think it's the, I think that's what it is. So let's we'll see what happens. Light family, soul family back again. Um, I think everybody who's going to be watching this is going to need a cleanse before we even cleanse. So um, likely we'll do the, um, a nice cleanse. But, um, hmm. okay. So if anybody is making like a crazy amount of noise, I might end up muting you, but right now it seems pretty nice. So um, let's just get a good field of light going on. I'll just bring in some purity fields quickly here. Connect at higher self level. Interesting unicorns are coming out. That is interesting. I haven't seen them for a while. All in the families of light. So it'll be good if, if you just want to kind of clean your energy. So we'll just do an energy clearing, breathing in love into the heart, exhaling love and creating a, a unity field of love so that's what we'll do that's a good idea so uh, we'll connect fields which will create a unity field where all of our fields connect no chakras it's fields and then um, we breathe in love and then in the middle field between all of our fields the new field we'll exhale love and it'll just start making this abundant huge love field over all and um, we'll just uh, set the intention here that this love will transmute any energies within our fields of light. It will energy cleanse all here. Um, Phil, I'm feeling that halo thing. You want to do the halo thing, Phil? Do you want to do the halo? Okay. I'm still running the water till we start. So let's all visualize, close eyes. Uh, do What you do is breathe in and then just breathe a bit out and then more and then a bit out. And then that's, breath that's breathing lower chakra system. So let's visualize a big halo above our heads. It's it's like a crystalline halo. Uh, it's white light, it's Gabriel's white light. Uh, visualize it in your mind's eye. It's above your head, and then it's going into your crown chakra, the indigo color, the white light of the uh, white or indigo. And it's just sending healing and clearing and anything that isn't wanted it's just clearing it out and it's just pushing it to the ground it's then going to your next chakra which is your third eye chakra which is like a blue so it's sending energy into the blue light and it's pushing everything down and it's going a bit back up again and it's going down uh, down so it's grounding all this anything that you picked up all day and it's going into your throat chakra and it's clearing your throat, throat chakra, anything that's not wanted, it's clearing it, it's pushing it down to the ground. And then obviously the next chakra is your heart chakra, which is like a green light. So it's pushing the energies you need. It's a nourish chakra, but it's taking anything that's not wanted. And then it going, keeps on going and it goes to your solar plex chakra. Then it's clearing all that. So it's going up and down, two inches up, one inch, up, one inch up, two inches down, and it keeps on going. And it goes to your sacral chakra. And then it keeps on going, two inches down, one inch up, two inches down, one inch up. Then the halo might be changing color if you've got any attachments. And it goes up to your root, root chakra. And then it keeps on going, keeps on going to ground. Keeps on going, and it pushes all the way to ground when it's in ground, and then channel moon energy through your aura system to ground. Very quick one, but uh, that's the halo. Uh, complete. Cool. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate that. I'll so we got a lot. I'll turn the water off. Okay. Water, water's off. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> That was fun to like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just flushing down the density. The... <laughs> That's funny. It's going into uh, variety of sources right now, quickly. 
Let's get some information on what we're supposed to be doing. I'm getting the solar grid, by the way, Dave. Yeah, yeah, within the sun, for sure. Central, central, central shot, so. Okay, Let's, so, okay, so our fields are merged wherever we'll go to get consciously. So we're, we're actually already in the um, well, central sun in a second here. I'm just, we're actually in the, uh, it's like a diamond sun. It's crystalline sun. I'm, I'm, I've actually merged with uh, Evra, my crystal source being. I've also got my rainbow crystal dragon with me. So that'd be a bit of fun, which I've only just connected last week. Actually, I just went into Central Sun, source, port over to uh, Earth Sun as well. Just uh, let's see. So we'll look at that. Okay. So we got, uh, of course, Merlin shows up. Um, we got Yeshua's in the house. We have um, Gabriel is here, Archangel Gabriel. Um, Sophia, uh, Mary Magdalene was connecting hearts. We'll connect fields with them all here. It's for the collective to release for the collective. They're hanging on, and then clear the grids. Okay, so we are a collective heart, um, collective fields. Okay, so we'll go to the uni universal kosh. Um, uh, usually we don't do shadow work for the collective, but it's seems they need a shadow work. So we're going to do some clearing on the collective th through um, energy work. Um, okay, so it is called the Universal Akashic Record Keeper to be with us, to open up the collective Akash for all on Earth who are just awakening. Yeah. Um, and to bring in all the lifetimes that they need to release what they're holding on to here. Call on... Um, Archangel Raphael, okay. Um, she's going to bring in a purity ray, the green ray. Uh, okay, so we're going to create a toroidal field of light to run through the energies of the Akash for the collective, which are then going to go into their heart chakra uh, to expand and to release this density that they're holding onto. So, Raphael, the green ray here. Violet flame state, my day. Yeah, St. Germain can connect the purple flame run this through here so we're running it through the collective akash right now and then we'll just call on divine mother here to forgive to forgive to forgive on for them to forgive for them to release this for them and then golden light christ christ to bring in the golden light through here so to send it through we might as well just go ahead and port this energy um to the earth sun and then over the planet at the same time just shooting this it, this is not just clearing, this is an upgrade, by the way, Dan. That's what I've been told. This is upgrading our solar. Ah, uh, right, that makes sense, because they're going to be, you know, um, through their eternity's time. So we're going to connect it to the crystalline cache as well for these, all the collective awakening right now, to release through the eternities of time for them just to help purge and to release this. And then we're going to go into a, a grid clearing. You know what, let's just um, call on the rainbow dragons to funnel through here follow these frequencies down our light we'll end up joining them with with, with our dragon collective um, but we're just going to send them ahead of us uh, as well as the unicorns wanted to show up um so let's send the rainbow uh, we might as well send the angels we'll ask the golden angels to come in as well and we'll follow all these rays to collect and to help transmute all the densities as the re the releasing so you don't want to walk into a swamp of density when we head down the golden cube what is it Okay, so we're going to bring the golden, um, these energies into this golden cube and it's going to funnel and it's going to continue to funnel through the Akash. Uh, who's holding it? It's Father, Father God. It's going to hold it. It's going to hold the frequency. Okay. All right. So we will let the journeys begin. So um, there's unicorns and dragons um, all around us here in the side of the central sun. So you can take a pick. If you prefer a unicorn, it's very high frequency. Um, it's kind of like the, they got rainbow wings and they're white and they got the either sometimes golden or, or white um, horns on their head. Um, the dragons, there's golden dragons, there's rainbow dragons, um, there's all, there's green, there's blue, um, white, there's even white dragons. So you can take a pick just with intention. What we're going to do is we're going to um, jump on our dragons and we're going to fly through towards the sun, through the sun. And we're going to create a dragon field and a unicorn field together. We're going to connect the fields with the dragons and the unicorns right at the sun level. And we're just going to create this huge burst of flame right over the earth, uh, crystalline frequency, rainbow frequency. 
and just do a huge clearing just right all over the earth before we dive into the grids and we're going to ignite um, some higher vibrational solar grid codes um, getting ready for the central sun blast uh, is coming soon so we're fire up oh angels they want to communicate what is it the golden army top uh, them. okay so on these solar grids um or the golden grids if you will um They've created vortexes that are connected to the earth grids. So if you can just imagine all of our dragons will just go towards the solar grids and we're gonna be breathing in um, flames, flames purifying purple flames, rainbow flames, golden flames, just purifying um, through these vortex channels that are connected to uh, Gaia's grids, the galactic grids, the inner earth grids. And we're just gonna flame it from here first before we go in. <sighs> I'm sure if you said this, the Council of Light uh, yeah, uh, will open us. There's universal beings here. They're doing something to the poles. Um, uh, uh, it's unrelated to our mission. Okay, never mind. It's, it's, it's something to do with the shift. Uh, so they're just working on pole, pole energies for some reason. They're, they're raising frequencies around poles. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so... Okay, so we're gonna create um, a golden light stream here, and we're all gonna we're all gonna meet quickly um, at this. Uh, look for a rainbow field going into the solar grids, and we're gonna meet there, and we're gonna dive into this rainbow field of light, and and go right into Gaia's core. So we're gonna start in the inner grids, inner Earth here. A lot of magical dimensions in here, but we're going right to the, the Gaia's core herself because she's got these um, holy spheres and we're going to pull some of these energies up to earth. So we're just going to go into the spheres that have been activated within Gaia's core right now. It's like a gyroscope of light that's um, spinning around and we're just going to go into it within the core. Okay, so we're going to collect the energy. We're actually going to send this up to the solar grids as well because it, we have a, it goes right from the light. So we're just going to shoot it back up so that ignites on the solar grids. We might as well just um, still, oh yeah. Okay, so for the inner earth realities, we're gonna ignite these energies to purify all the inner earth realities. Okay. I've been to told Dave, we should send the, the golden ray of divine love to the matrix. You're out. I sent you a telepathic communication. Mm -hmm. I sent you some mind transmission. Okay, and let's send this up to the pyramid network from, from inner earth. It will be easier to work from here until we actually um, I'll just send it right up to Giza, and then that will go to all the pyramids and the earth grids for clearing, but it's it's just cleaner to do it this way than to go to earth. There's just more density at earth level at the moment. All right, um, we're getting some support from Source and the Central Sun. They're shooting some rays down on us right now to add to our fields. Mystical beans, uh, iron, iron, is it? Okay, he's coming with us, Sun God. He wants us to follow him. Uh, where is he going? Follow him, he says. Okay, he's going up the light. Uh, he's in Egypt. He's going up Giza. I think he's going to that crystal pyramid. He is. Okay, we're going up into the celestials right now. To the crystal pyramid within the um, celestial bodies. He's going to activate something. With it. So, all right. So he's just um, creating a viewing station right now, so we can see the celestials. Sacred geometry. What is he doing though? He's making a density collector, like a net, like a golden net That's with sacred geometry patterns. And he's weaving it over the earth right now from here. He wants us to add something. I see, I've been told the seven point stuff, divine love. Okay, that's so weird. All right, um, so all that we are, just with intention, you can just connect to all of your aspects and connect hearts with all of your aspects in combination in here. And you're just gonna bring in all sacred um, geometry for density clearing. And we're gonna add it onto this grid he's created here. And it's actually gonna merge, this grid he's creating is gonna merge with Gaia's grids um, for this clearing. Interesting, it's merging. So we'll connect fields with all aspects of self to add into this. Okay, now we're ready to go in. Uh, from here, the grid's integrating. Now it's pretty safe to go on. So we're just gonna go um, 
if you want to pick a country, um, you can pick Canada, Europe, United States, and we'll just go with the the dragons here, and we're just gonna infuse it. Um, they're gonna go an offshoot and just start collecting density, anyways. But we're gonna bring harmonic rays with a unicorn and dragon collectives. We're going all over Earth, cleansing and clearing. Dave, I'm connecting to the all the other planet crystalline uh, grids to our grid. Okay. okay. All right. Just going through the general energies of den density that are on Earth, clearing them right now. Across the planet with the, I got a, a unicorn on my left, and uh, I'm riding a purple dragon, and I got a golden dragon just in front of me. <laughs> Holding through. On the right, there's a, a blue unicorn, interestingly enough. So we're just going through the clearing out densities, energy, just we're flying through energies on Gaia right now across the uh, continents and clearing out energies. Um, when you look at it as energy, it's easier to envision it this way. Instead of thinking of it as like land and water and everything, just looking at it as energies and anything that's density, we're just clearing it out, transmitting it, bringing it back to space. So we're literally, literally just flying as energies, picking up, clearing out density throughout the collective. Somebody, if anybody wants to send in, in golden codes to um, help with um, expansion of the collective as we're flying through, feel free to share your codes, any codes you have, divine, feminine, or masculine, just to share them with the collective as we're flying through here. For those who wanted to receive these codes, for those who wanted to ascend, it's all divine at a higher level. It's all agreed upon, so it's fine to do this. Clearing, 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 clearing. Wow, California is so dense. Yeah, the nine planets that connect to our crystal they're all different colors, like a rainbow. The grid line, you know? The energy is going through the light grid, which is the consciousness of everyone clearing it. You're going to need some help in Africa. If people want to bring their attention to Africa, it's, there's a lot of cleanup over here. Not Canada. Well, I'm sure Canada does. Especially that Manitoba place. All right, this is going to help. Okay, Australia. I see like a wave going through the countries. Yeah, this is huge golden light now. Very high vibrational. Um, we have lion beings who are assisting from above. This is very interesting. Got some attention on this one, guys. I got some attention on this one. Even the Galactic Alliance is here. I'm flying through, but I just want to tune in to them at the same time. I'm totally fine. I got my dragons taking care of everything, and I got this crazy golden grid here, so I'm just going to tune into the lions. <laughs> That's funny. So the lions is covering our back right now because I, I guess there were some trying, beings trying to stop us, but, but they, they're taking care of it, so they're just like, don't even worry. You don't even have to worry about other beings. Um, they're the, so the alliance is protecting us uh, with energies, source light beings. This is why... Um, Sekhmet and um, Atma and some sun gods are with us as well. It's just frustrating for people. When they first start to awaken, it's confusing. And they get some dizziness, so help them integrate the collective consciousness. It's going through a purge, so help them clear it, okay? All right, so... So we're just going to send these clearing energies to the collective consciousness just to clear the density out, help them assist them release. I'm actually seeing like a portal waving around like it, and it's all going in. Grounding for the collective consciousness and everybody watching as well, everybody who needs grounding, it's going to send this out quantumly so they're not super dizzy. Okay. okay, so I think we're good here on the grids, but we want to create a huge blast of energy from uh, the central sun to Earth. So we're just going to ask our dragons to take us right back up to the central sun. And then we're going to be in the central sun, which is connected to um, obviously the crystallinic cache. Um, obviously, it's connected to the galaxies, all the grid systems, the Earth, sun, and everything, and all the suns behind it and around it. Um, so let's just build up collective field here, collective field of light. As we breathe in, so do the unicorns and the dragons. And as we exhale, so do they. And we're just going to create this huge, huge ball of light, huge ball. It's going to go over the universe. It's going to go over Gaia, all the planetary systems to totally cleanse everything. Every breath we take, we're going to keep adding light to this field, clearing out densities from all beings and all timelines and all dimensions. 
also healing core wounds from the release from the purging from the collective any wounds I'm just going to heal some core wounds while we're here we'll even go beyond this universe we'll go into multi-universe level bring this cleansing and energies to all universes and then like what phil was saying let's bring in divine love breathe in love into our hearts and as we exhale we'll just bring in those love frequencies joy frequencies golden ray of love golden ray of love the grids are starting to light up Elohim are bringing in their heart energy, just connecting it with them as well. Okay, so now, um, so the other universes are going to take, they're going to take the energy that's within their universe. And within our universe, we're going to take for Gaia a percentage of this energy, and the, the Galactic Alliance will take percentage of it to put into other planet cores. Uh, so it's going to be divided into like nine. Um, for around our universal system here and we're going to take for earth and we're just going to put it together and we're just going to bring it right into gaia's core sending it through this beam of light from the sun going through the suns pulsing it actually it's pulsing pulsing right into gaia powering up gaia's cores we're powering up gaia's cores here Gaia's power centers with this light we're powering it up there's many power centers and then and now we'll place it into gaia's core right into those holy spheres of light phil are you getting anything else well, that's strange when you said nine because i i heard that the crystalline earth connected to the, the nine realms so oh. I, I thought it was quite a strange thing uh, the crystalline beings my aspects they're, they're doing some of the i'm not sure what they're doing you need to raise crystalline though lighting up like a blue mm -hmm. like an angelic blue actually Okay, so I think we're gonna we can return we can return and ground. So we'll just call back our consciousness, everybody's consciousness to go back to where they are. All that is yours goes back to you. All that is mine that goes back to me. All that is fills goes back to everybody's consciousness. Everybody's goes back to themselves 100 percent cleansed, cleared, purified, zero attachments. There's no attachments on anybody who's joined this right now. It's impossible. Um, this light was too who uh, it was grand complete clearing so if you did have any attachments you don't know i guarantee that um so we're just going to come back to our base call back our energies i'm going to um just suggest us to breathe in all this light and as you exhale just with intention send it out the soles of your feet into gaia if you can feel energy just feel it coming out of the soles of your feet and grounding into gaia uh if you can't feel it um, just imagine with intention that your feet are planted in the ground. You got soil over your feet and that the trees that are also planted in the ground that have the roots are going to help um, ground your energies, ground, ground in the back, becoming present. Another grounding code. Expand. To assist everybody to ground further. Grounding all who are watching to assist just to ground the light, just to ground it, to ground it, to ground it. And help yeah. really anch anchor this. Yeah. Dave, we just cut, I'm just cutting the links to the nine realms. Oh, yeah, good idea. We might just, we might just try. Yeah, and we'll disconnect unity fields at this time from everybody who's watching. Everybody's unity fields will just disconnect so that um, your, our, all of our energies are within our own. Um, and then we'll disconnect with, um, you know, right. I'll, just, I'll just ask the source beings and all that source. Because uh, we, we did Yeshua, um, Divine Mother. Mother Mary, um, Saint Germain, Gabriel, there. And Raphael. Yeah. I'm, I'm thanking them all as well for this. Yeah, and they're thanking us as well. Just showing gratitude. Thank you. They're just bringing a nice, um, loving energy over everybody right now. I have a garbage truck collecting garbage in front of my house. <laughs> um, yeah, they're saying all, all are honoring us right now for this work here in the heavenly bodies um everybody will be remembered for this all right how's everybody feeling how are you doing phil okay <laughs> <laughs> gotta go yeah, for that's, a walk that's, that's quite amazing that well that last time i took the I took, I took the dog walk at one in the clock in the morning but uh, that was pretty powerful yeah but, yeah but, great work everyone everyone yeah, who joined everybody who's watching i mean amazing work you know the earth really needed this clearing today in a big way in a big way. I, I Thank actually, you all. Yeah, I actually. Thank picked, you. I, I picked a card out today. Uh, what is it? It's uh, it's, it's basically new beginnings for the grids. 
Oh, nice. There you go. Wow. So, yeah, that's a, a crystal card set. Fantastic. Oh, Ronnie is, I can see him now. <laughs> and he's not in his truck driving. That's funny. How are you doing, Daphne? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, always. And then Leslie woke up just in time. Yes, got up just in time to make my coffee and join everybody else. That's yeah. great. Yeah, water next, I think. No <laughs> problem. Yeah. yeah. You guys are raising your frequency a lot because as soon as I connected, I was feeling you. It was like, wow, this is going to be powerful. Oh, yeah. This was great. And especially so many so many light workers. Oh, sorry, Bridget. No, that's yeah. okay. I was just going to say near the end, I had this beautiful vision of just like dozens of these enormous rainbow serpent dragons just weaving in and out all through the energy grids like it was like the energy grid was the rainbow serpents and they were working on the torus field of the earth and i just felt so much vibrancy and, oh my heart is just ooh. <laughs> Thank it's you. fantastic yeah. i love the dragons so great that you saw that you know, like they, you know, they're so mm -hmm. yeah you could tell like the grids were one actually they weren't three grids they were one grid mm -hmm. all together that's what it felt like Fields are merging too. Uh, well, you remember when we like he made that that what was that At Atma? Uh, he made that grid, that geometric one, and it just it ended up merging with Gaia, hmm. like as well, right? It went right into that one the one grid there. I saw the solar grids though. Solar solar grids. I, I keep on getting stars of seven seven star. Keep on getting that at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. That's what that, like, that, it almost looked like that's what he made. Like he, he made a whole bunch of patterns. It was uh, golden, golden light, like a big circle grid. And then he just merged right in with the guy's grid. When, when, it, when that was happening, I felt like there was uh, uh, crystal activating within me, which would make sense uh, the, the seven pointed star or the, uh, the, the, the crystal, the, the shield, uh, all has the seven uh, crystals. And that's what felt like it was activating within me. It's awesome. Maggie, will you grace us with your voice? <laughs> it was so beautiful, so powerful. When we started, I I saw the like the the, the earth and then it was like smoking come out when David said uh, the when they called the, the dragons. And then it was just like a, a wind blow the, the suddenly the whole smoke out and it was only light colors. It was so beautiful, so beautiful. And my body was here moving back and forth. Yeah. And my heartbeat was very, very, very high, increased very, very strong. That's awesome. Thank you for having me. I am, it was like a blessing. It was amazing. Beautiful. Thank you for being here. It's a blessing to have you. Yeah, those dragons, I tell you, they're probably thinking, those humans taking all the credit for this work. We just go in and do <laughs> almost all the work. <laughs> hey, we're, we're only, there's only one dragon. There's only one. <laughs> just kidding. Matthew, how are you doing? Sorry. Go you ahead, Phil. Uh, what I was saying is each each nine realms connected to our crystalline. Each one was a different color. I think the nine realms are different chakras of the universe, sort of thing. Well, and they're connected to other universes and Yeah. But but uh, like we're one of the chakras of the nine realms. Uh I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. That makes yeah. not so much sense. That's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Because it's so what was that, Ronnie? I only know. When there are not, there are, we're, we're connected to more than nine. Uh, I, we I, have, I, we have those 12, we have 12. That, like, that's what I recognize and connect to. No, there's a lot more universes yeah. than nine. Yeah, for sure. There's nine. just like a, like a, a, a universal nine realm. Um, it's kind of like a, a gate to other universes and dimensions and stuff like that. But yeah, no, there's way more universes. Sure. If anyone watches this on video or anything on YouTube, you can join us because time is irrelevant in the uh, consciousness of it all. Like a layer, there's so many people waking up, and then we do another one, and so many mm -hmm. people waking up. There's yeah. a lot more woken up, woken but up this, now than last year. 
Yeah, this was a big one. Like in the last two weeks, so many people have woken up. Um, but like within the last number of days, there's a huge, huge awakening leading up to this. We didn't want um, on the 1st of June because there's still another few few days, huge awakening. So, um, you know, yeah. and then we'll just, well, we'll do another one of these for sure. Probably like uh, another like three weeks or something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. One of the events we did about a month or two ago, the resonance went to 84. Last time it went that high was the Berlin Wall went down. So the frequency is really getting high at the moment. Well, and my team been... tell me that we're doing this every month now, but this know. intense, this it, intense. It, it's getting, it's, well, look, yeah. 84 is the highest since 89. 1989 mm -hmm. was the highest. So it is really affecting the earth. We are leading them where they need to go to transform and transmute or clear out all these, these old uh, energies. Um, yeah. And it's kind of linked to a portal, but they'll go through that, but come back again. It's like they need to be, to be taken or, I don't know, it's something we will be leading them through this type portal and or Stargate or something will be happening every month going forward, I'm told. Yeah, we should probably do this every month until the until the until the god moment happens anyways which could be in a month um in a bit yeah if, if, if you're looking at resonance now is a lot of white light pillars of light coming down yeah for sure this makes an effect like we've been following these light missions and the effects that they've had on the human resonance and, and every time there's a there's a, a very positive effect um we've been following it for a few years now hey phil yeah. and um, when it dropped time, below though and then it got really bad oh it was awful when it was below Mm -hmm. Do you not so feel it, that? Oh yeah, you can feel it when it when it dropped below the normal average. You know, it went below, mm -hmm. and it was really oh, very well. It's been it's been very heavy it's been, and dense, it's, yes. it's been ugly out there. Like there's been um, mm -hmm. a lot of even like it's it's not like it's a war per se, but it kind of is. There's been like a lot of like um, dark beings and light beings yeah. and and all this stuff going on over a couple of weeks, trying to stop the event from happening, which is the God moment, trying to stop the Ascension. And it's like these final efforts and then that stop. And now it's like, okay, now it's rapid awakening going on right now. So, which is creating density. And and uh, we don't want to have to go through that inner day. We spent so much time making these grids and anchoring these light and all this stuff. We don't want to have to be affected by all the collective awakening. I remember, I, don't, I think it was like a couple years back. I said, Phil, I'm like, so when this big awakening happens, well, I wonder, I wonder when we're, how we're going to clear all this. And, and you're like, oh, save it for another day. <laughs> the thing is, the, the dark ones are trying to affect the grid and they're trying to affect people with implants. And the more we do, the more higher we get, the more higher vibration we get. Yeah. And that's, that's why the grids need cleaning every so often. Yeah. yeah. Try, and then they, they're, they're trying to stop it, but we can't. They know the car. Yeah, no. Like, we're too committed. I mean, we're, we care too much. I mean, that's... I just keep can... flipping anything negative. I just flip it, and then I find it funny. It's no longer, I'm no longer fearful. I just think, oh, that was hilarious. Did we enjoy that today? I don't... Any of the fear stuff, I just think, really. It just, it just washes over me now. I don't even respond anymore. That's the way to be. That's the way to be. Just don't let anything negative get to you. It's just like if somebody even says something to mean. It's something inside of them that needs to get healed, and not your your problem. Yeah, right? I, I was as soon going, as you know going, that, that's yeah. the difference. As soon as you recognize that, mm -hmm. it, you don't take ownership of it, and that's yeah. the difference. That, that's exactly. If you get triggered by anyone or anything, it's your that you've got the problem, not them. Mm -hmm.